Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Brighton Graphics to deliver world class Blue Beam training and customization services, empowering you to get the most out of your Blue Beam investment. So let's dive into Blue Beam and show some examples. Next up is our PDF summary. So again, I do that a lot with design review between teams, um, city or council, uh, permit reviews, things like that. So if I jump over to my snagging list again, and I've got all of these different markups, uh, I might come in here and do a PDF summary come over to my columns and I'm going to include all this information is good filter and sort I'm going to sort mine by space so that it groups all the everything per room so each room it's going to report it uh, I am also going to filter um the layers and i only want to i'm just going to go ahead and do mechanical so i'm not doing the full list i'm only going to include mechanical by space output pdf now one of my favorite check marks here is the append and hyperlink to current pdf when i check that it's going to add the report to this drawing document so the second page and so on if i don't have this checked it's going to create a brand new document the other thing that it does when it appends to this drawing is it hyperlinks our markups in our report to the markups on the drawings i'll show you what that looks like in a second so i'm going to append that uh, put in my title here I can also load I can import my letterhead so here I've brought in my letterhead and my reports going to be directly printed onto that um, I can create a space or a, a break per space or subject or anything like that you can look through all these settings here um, I'm gonna go ahead and run that Okay, so here's my report. You can see it brought in my letterhead up at the top. I've got all of my markups here, page by page. And when I zoom in on one of these, here's all the information from the markups list. Here's an image of that markup. Um, let's see, this is a little bit better example. It gives you some of the context of the drawing itself. So you can see where that is. Um, but what that box, what that preview is, is a hyperlink. And when I click on that, it's going to jump directly to that markup on my drawing. So I can reference those very, very quickly. When I look at my thumbnails over here, you can see I've got my drawing and three pages from that report. The last page in the report, so the first page here, you can see one of my line items has an uh, image. If I look at the last page, I have a capture media summary, which includes the image. So I can download this image from here. It's that um, image lives in the PDF, so I don't have to send it separately it comes through in my PDF summary. And then of course the last option here is the print summary. So we can come in, send this directly to a printer if we want to and print out all of this data similar to the other formats that we looked at. So that's all I have to cover today for creating reports. I'm going to jump back into my PowerPoint. If you have any questions regarding training or customization services for your company, don't hesitate to reach out to the team at Brighter Graphics or myself. 
and we'd be happy to help you out with that.